Hey, hey homos. homos. Welcome to our podcast, Happy Healthy Homo. I'm Keegan. And I'm Joe. We are still boyfriends. We are. Um, welcome, welcome. We are looking forward to this episode. It's a little bit different, a little bit of a fun one. Yeah. Um, well, for us, hopefully for you guys as well. But. Well, yeah, I mean, everybody's nosy, aren't they? So we're, we're yeah. going gonna to go behind the scenes on our relationship a little bit but before we get into it mm -hmm. we should do the parish notices yeah um, which are guys if you're listening to us on an audio platform and you enjoy it please if you haven't already rate us on apple Podcasts, particularly just because it helps with like rankings and things and we just really appreciate that and it helps more people mm -hmm. hear us waffling <laughs> so yeah. yeah review rate us uh, if it's on youtube subscribe like it. You can also give us a follow on social media mm -hmm. at happyhealthyhomo.com. Yeah. We also have a series called Helpful Homos, which we do on Fridays, where we release a video where we answer some of your questions and queries that you email to us. Yeah. So if you want to get in touch with that, just drop us a, if you want to drop us an email in general, hello at happyhealthyhomo.com. But if you want it to be for the Helpful Homo series, please put help in the subject line and please do let us know if you want us to use your name or yeah. not, because we don't want to upset anything for anybody yeah but with all that said let's just crack on with the episode yeah we thought we get a lot of questions um and I, <laughs> as i say that you might be going you don't get a lot of questions <laughs> but we do get a lot of questions where uh, particularly on socials in dms and things mm -hmm. people uh, you know the ins and outs of our relationship because we don't like kind even of... questions like how did you meet so it'd be good to have one video where we can go <laughs> yeah we can just signpost people yeah. to this it's just us, this just us being lazy basically <laughs> um so how did we meet joe well keegan we first <laughs> met because i actually i'm not a first time gay podcast host <laughs> i know dun, dun, short dun. Current, this is actually my third <laughs> I, is it third? I knew it was your second. I, didn't know it was your I had one with an ex of mine. So I seem to have a habit here of making a podcast with a boyfriend. We. Um, which was, yeah, not very good. It wasn't very, it lasted like five episodes and uh, just wasn't very good. Then I was a guest on a podcast called Four Puffs in a Podcast. Uh, that doesn't exist anymore. Doesn't exist anymore. There's a pattern here. In yeah. There. Well, they then, I was a guest on the podcast and then they replaced one of them with me. So I was on it for a few episodes um, and then we just stopped doing the podcast. So it doesn't exist anymore. Neither of them do. Um, but whilst I was on that podcast, one of the guests was none other than the Keegan Hurst we see before us via Zoom. We had you on Zoom, didn't we? Yeah. And so I, Joel reached out and said, do you want to yeah. be on the podcast? Because one of them had said, there's this guy called Keegan Hurst. He does loads of great things with like gay people and sport. And he's a coach and he's ex-rugby player, ex at the time. And then you went back when, but anyway, that's by the by. Um, ex rugby player. And then I was like, oh, I literally just followed him like the week before or some, a few weeks before. Um, and he was like, oh, well, you message him then. <laughs> and yeah. I was like, great. I hated doing logistics and it wasn't, I always left them to do logistics. Um, so I messaged Keegan and said, would you like to come on the podcast? He said, yes. And that was it. Literally, it, you came on the podcast maybe a month later. Yeah. And again, that was kind of it. That was it. We didn't really we didn't speak for like no. six months then. Yeah. Did we? No. And then um, I I re reached out and messaged Joel and we started chatting. Mm -hmm. um, and we were chatting for a, a good few months, yeah. weren't we? Yeah. It was ages until we met. We were texting. Like it got to the point we were texting like every day, but we still hadn't like met up. Yeah. So then we went on a date and the rest as they say is his history so i like to say we met in real life but we technically didn't because it was still through technology through zoom or technically through instagram i suppose but it wasn't on tinder it wasn't or on dating apps. Not, not that there's anything wrong with that no and i was on all those apps and i like i just Joel completed them i completed them <laughs> literally went through all of them and i was like oh like that is how i'm gonna find my partner so there was no shame with meeting someone on tinder or hinge but yeah, it's not, I it's, like the fact that we it, didn't meet on a like dating app. It's the odds. It's, it's the more uncommon thing now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it used to be people would be like, what? Yeah. On a dating app? That's not safe. Yeah. And now it, this is like that's the opposite. That's how people do it, yeah. But yeah, that's how yeah. we met. So what? how do we compliment each other, Joel? As partners. Say, oh, you look nice. <laughs> oh, I say, you look lovely this morning. And I say, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we are very different, but we're also, we have a lot in common we have very similar values, don't we? Yeah. Similar values, similar goals, yeah. long term. We look at life 
in a very similar yeah. way, but mm -hmm. we act and go about it yeah. differently. We have different interests. I mean, we also have lots of overlapping interests too, but yeah. we do, yeah, we have different interests and things, but I think we complement each other, like you said, with values. We find each other funny as well, which always helps. Yeah. That, Even that, though we don't find memes, we send each other funny. Yeah, that's a very strange thing eh? <laughs> in a lot of relationships. Some relationships are just memes yeah. that they send to each other. But Ours is the opposite of that. And I will send Keegan a meme thinking it's, or a TikTok thinking it's hilarious and he'll be like, mm, and vice versa. Yeah, so that's the one area that, yeah, we're not funny, but thankfully it's not a pillar of our relationship. No, it's not. Uh, but we do, yeah, we, you know, when people say, it always sounds a bit tweed, doesn't it, when they say, oh, you know, this so-and-so, their partner is their best friend. Mm. But we are we are besties, yeah. aren't we? Yeah, we are. We spend a lot of time together. We do spend a lot of time together. And we do... Yeah. We we obviously spend time together leisurely yeah. at home. But we also sp like work together, yeah. doing the podcast and mm -hmm. things like that. But it's nice, isn't it? Like I think, like obviously, there's times we need time apart and to recharge and things. But but I we're good at that. Aren't we're we? good at that. But I think there are some couples that can't spend as much time together as we do. But but we, we we're all right with that. Yeah, we're we? all right. But we know when we need to go. I yeah. just need a breather. Yeah. And Joel's very good at saying. Keegan, I just need some time on my own. Yeah. And I'll say, leave me alone now. Yeah. I'm going to go on the PlayStation yeah. or I'm going to go for a walk or something. Sometimes yeah. we even go for a walk together, but put our headphones on yeah. so we don't have to speak to each other. So we're like together, but not, and like if he's playing PlayStation on the couch, I'll watch uh, YouTube on my laptop with my headphones and we're like together. But not together. Not together. Like we're not joined at the hip. Yeah. Well, I think we complement each other as well. You're very... I would say you might disagree with me. You're very black and white. Like this is this is how it is. You don't overthink things, and you're like, if you can't change it, why worry about it? Da, 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 da. I'm overthinking to the max, going, what about this? What about this? Yeah, oh, but oh, this, this, this. So you're very grounding for me in that sense. Yeah. And maybe I draw out more empathy in you than maybe you would if you were with someone that was matching you on that practical, yeah. logical level. Yeah. Sometimes, I, I, yeah, I do think you've you've helped me. Softened the edges. Soften the edges. Because um, I can I can be a bit spiky and I can be a bit mm. just do this or just do that or just yeah. don't do it and just get on. I can be a little not that I'm not empathetic, but no. I'm pragmatic. I think yeah. is the word. Yeah. Um, but as I always talk about, ironically, being how I behave. You know, we life is nuance. Mm -hmm. um, but you're yeah you're mm. very good at that whereas sometimes joel is so spread out all over the place well what mm. if this happened and this happened and like you just have to make a decision and go with it mm. and then adapt on the fly yeah um because you can get that p paralysis by analysis yeah. i'd also say different i'm quite put to ooh, i'm quite not put together but i'm the opposite of clumsy and i think keegan is quite clumsy for example <sighs> first date knocked a cocktail all over me i am very clumsy and then on holiday, you, did you lose your passport? Oh no, it was the Esther thing. There was a few things, you lost your phone on the plane yeah. as we were about to disembark the plane. It went under the seat, you couldn't find it. Everyone was rushing past us. We were gonna be the first off because we were at the front of the plane, but we ended up being last off because Keegan lost his phone. I think it's other people's fault. But <laughs> yeah, apparently I'm clumsy. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Joel, Joel's pretty sorted and organized. Um, how else do we compliment each other? I don't know. We don't. We don't. <laughs> the next question is, what drew us to each other? Answers on the postcard. Um, I think, yeah, I, for me, I have always, I've always been part of a team. Mm -hmm. Like, I've always played rugby. I've always, well, I don't know, but I, so I've, I'm very team focused. Um, you know, I'll always consider the impact of what I'm going to do. What does it have on me? What does it have on it, it, for us, us, us and the kids, mm -hmm. even like with work and the coaching staff and clients, like what's the big picture mm -hmm. impact? Um, and don't get me wrong, I can be quite selfish, but I like to feel that that's reciprocated. And mm -hmm. I feel like me and you do feel like a lot of a team. I feel like we've got, like I said, very similar goals, similar values. Um, we like to spend our time in similar ways. Mm -hmm. It's just... I think oh, this is going to sound a bit, bleh, but life is very easy for I feel being in a me being in a relationship with you. I, I, I'm not the easiest person to be in a relationship with. <laughs> oh, so, <laughs> um, but yeah, life is very easy for for me. Yeah. So I, 
and that's not why I'm with you for ease, mm. but um, yeah. like I feel like we're on the same trajectory yeah. and I feel like we're good at, you're very good at, you cover my blind spots. Mm. Um, and I feel like I cover yours. Yeah. I, I think that's. I think so too. Yeah, I think you being, uh, like being driven and ambitious, but also that in the sense of you had goals and you were always planning for the future. And I always got the sense from day one with you that it was like, this relationship with me was not temporary. Cause it was like, well, obviously in the early days, you never know, but it yeah. was like, you were always forward thinking and trying to build a life. Yeah as opposed to sometimes dating in the gay community in London. It's very temporary, very shallow. Going through the motions kind of It feels of thing. a bit disposable, like, oh, I'm just a bit bored, so I'm looking for a relationship for like two, three months, and then, okay. then I'm done and I'll be single again for a bit. Mm. Whereas with you, it always felt like everything was very intentional, and you're sort of like, I'm not going to do something if I'm doing it half assed Yeah, no, that's not me, is it? Yeah, no, not I, at all. Even, even when I get off a tube, I walk with verve. Yeah. Even if it's in the wrong direction. We weren't even late today and he was storming off. I was like, we're not in a rush. We could just, we could just slow down. That's gear walking speed though. <laughs> that is. <laughs> um, what, oh, this is a bit twee, but we're going to, we're going to balance this with annoying habits. What's your favorite thing about me? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about Tell me. Tell me about me. Um, well, you make me laugh. Mm -hmm. um, you're, un you're very understanding. I get, you're very easy to talk to. Yeah. I don't ever think, oh God, what's Joel going to say? Mm. Um, and I think you're very easy to, to read. Like you're very much an open book. Yeah. Like I, I never, I don't guess no. what you're thinking, what, what's going on. You know when I'm in a mood before I even know I'm in a mood. Yeah. Which is, is easy for, mm. for me. Um, what else do I like? Obviously, like, you, you know, I love that we, we as a family, me, you and the mm -hmm. kids all get on so well and have, Mm -hmm. a good time and um and just that we have yeah that that as well i suppose similar to what you just said about me mm. you know what plans for you want to build a life together and yeah. what, that's always been very attractive mm. for me about you yeah yeah tell me about tell me why you love me no uh your annoying habits <laughs> <laughs> yeah no i think i'm not gonna say the same but i agree with all those things you are those things i think that's where we we are similar in though, that respect because I do love all those things about you. I think actually you're not necessarily easy to read because Keegan, this is going to turn into a compliment, but Keegan is hard to read sometimes because he keeps things inside and doesn't necessarily want to share them. Whereas I, I feel like I draw that out of you and you are eventually good at doing that. But I like that you are receptive to like change. Like if I ever I've got a, an issue or a complaint with you, not that it happens often, but if I have, you are willing to change and you take that on board and you if you decide you do want to make a change you make a change do you know what i mean yeah i'm, I'm you're not going this is me and this is who i am full stop yeah i'm amenable amenable yeah yeah we, well compromise is part of a relationship right so you have to yeah. be open to it and sometimes yeah. it's but loads of people aren't yeah but sometimes you have to go well this is what i want you know mm. i can't do that but mm. i can do this yeah and there's a middle ground there's always a a middle ground for everything yeah i feel definitely um so i'm i'm open to compromise yeah. and stuff and I, i'm quite stony faced sometimes he is and i do grunt a lot he grunts so much that is an annoying habit but he uh <laughs> no, he's very you're very loving and open as well like with me that no one else really gets to see maybe your kids get to see it as well but i get to see like the real key. it's a little bit funny this feeling inside um <laughs> that's a lyric um it is a bit funny talking about the machinations of our relationship on a podcast, yeah, didn't it? It feels a little bit, well, it, is, it feels a little bit self-indulgent, but it also feels a little bit, I don't know, ex, not exposing, but in, intrusive. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Well, because people say to me with what I do online and probably with what you do as well, but more so me vlogging, the vlogging my life, yeah. they're like, oh, how do you deal with not having a private life? And I'm like, oh, I do. I, Cause I don't, I only share the vacuous surface level stuff. Yeah. I don't share the deeper stuff. So I know what you mean. This feels quite. quite it also feels quite cathartic, I suppose, yeah. as well. Let's do annoying habits. Oh, yeah, the grunting. Keegan will, I'll ask him a question and be like, oh. Eh. Like, in my he in my head, I've given a very, um, you know, uh, eloquent answer, and I've in my head I've thought of, but it just comes out as mm. yeah. I think what else? Joel's size. <sighs> oh, <sorry. laughs> I didn't even plan that. that he's, uh, 
He's, I like sighing. So he sighs, but he also exhales a lot. That is what sighing is, Keegan. But you exhale. Yeah, but you know when someone says something, you go, <sighs> where yeah. you go, oh, I'm irri like he's exasperated all the time. I'm doing it again. <laughs> Like, he does it all the time, and it, that winds me up. I've had to teach Keegan, and he knew this from the early days, because I've had friends that say this as well, where they go, they've had issues with me sighing, so they think I'm sighing at them. And I've had to go, no, sometimes I sigh when I'm happy, sometimes I sigh when I'm confused, when I'm excited. And early doors, I remember when I would sigh, you would go to me, oh, that's a contented sigh. And I would be like, yeah. Or I'd be like, no, that was I've a... I've not heard one of those for a You've while. not heard one of those. They've all been <laughs> exasperated. But I just sigh a lot. And I think it's actually physiologically because when I'm stressed or something, I forget to breathe. And then I take a deep breath and then I go... <sighs> and then I think that is why. Mm, that sounds like justification to me. Yeah. Yeah. I think the another annoying habit is Keegan can be too logical sometimes. And I'm like, I just want someone to go, yeah, you know what? That sucks, and I'm sorry that that happened. Whereas Keegan's like, yeah, but, and he always likes to, and he says it on this podcast, playing devil's avocado instead of devil's advocate. Yeah, because Joe, yeah, Joe will say, you don't even think that. Yeah, yeah and he, he goes, oh, one. I know, I'm just saying. And I'm like, well, you don't need to say. <laughs> yeah. you, could just, you could just agree. I, I am what trolls are on the internet, but in real life. Yeah. Well, what about? <laughs> yeah, you're the what about I'm what about her, yeah. Yeah. But in real life. Yeah. Because I do like a debate. Yeah. I do like a debate. I know you love a debate. And we said this on holiday. We went on holiday with our friends. There's four of us. Two of us were very, are very chilled. And we're like, we disengage if there's a debate. The other two, Keegan and our friend, they love debating. And they were debating being on the same side. They both agreed, but they were both disagreeing. But they both agree with what they're saying. And I was like, you guys need to stop because this is not Because enjoyable. I can completely disassociate and go, right, we've parked that now. And then what, what are yeah. we having for food? Whereas Joel gets like really invested I in I know. Some... And if people argue, it makes me, it sends my adrenaline high. And I'm like, Ugh! But there's a difference between arguing and debate. I know. But for me, I can't distinguish between a debate and an argument. To me, a debate is just a fancy argument. <laughs> <laughs> what, so, what other annoying habits? Um... Joel farts everywhere. So do you. <laughs> I think that's a peril of living with <laughs> another is. boy, isn't it? It is. A house with two men in it is, you know, a lot of Lufton, a lot of opening windows in the Luft, mornings. Lufton is a lot the, of scented candles. The German word for letting fresh air in, yeah, right? We like that. I can't think of any. You used to leave cupboard doors open, which really annoyed me, but you don't do that anymore. Did I? Yeah. You get a mug out and then just leave the door I open. I get distracted a lot, don't I? Yeah. He doesn't put the extractor fan on on the oven. That oh, winds me up. Because it's a cacophony. It's an assault on the sensors. Yeah, but then the kitchen stinks of food. I know, but otherwise it's like, and I just like, let me cook in peace. I'm thinking, I'm doing things. Uh, it's an assault on the sensors. Okay. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Um, we're jumping all over the place here, but this is going back to dating. People often ask us about doing long distance because we were, I lived in London, Keegan lived in Leeds. That was about a four and a half, five hour drive from each other. The train with the walk either side and the yeah, tube and the trains, it was still about four hours. So how did you feel about going, being long distance? Had you ever done it before? Blah, blah, blah. No, no, never done it before. It, it, it was just... Again, this is the pragmatic Keegan coming out. It just was was what it was. So mm. we either dealt with it or we didn't. And if we didn't, then we wouldn't have had a relationship. Yeah. And I did want a relationship with you. Mm. So we made it work. Yeah. And yeah, and when we just, I think we we just talked through it a lot, and mm. and we were, we were always getting our calendars out. Yeah. We? we were we had to be organised. Yeah. Well, I, we can come up here, or I can come mm. down there, or we can do this then. Yeah, we never went more than I'd say two weeks without seeing each other probably no. and then even then it was yeah always having a date in the diary before leaving each other yeah. so then we had so then we had something to and we tried yeah and we tried to do it we tried to do it something every week we tried it wasn't yeah. always possible yeah but with you coming down to london if you lived in the same town and you were yeah. just dating it's a, you'd probably start with that initially yeah. but then it was like we spend more time together it was the separate lives that was hard because we couldn't just go and visit for a day really yeah. So it'd be like packing up your life and for like packing a suitcase. And Ava would come. And Ava would come. Or I'd come down with Fen. Exactly. And, and then he'd be, be there a few for days. a few days. Because otherwise, 
you don't do a five hour trip for yeah. a three hour visit to do a five hour trip back. Which sounds fine, but after months and months and months of that, you're you're not living a proper life because yeah. I couldn't plan because I'd spend five days in London, then five days up with Keegan and then three days in London and then you'd come down for a few yeah. days and then it just wasn't a normal life. Yeah. So I did but it was, I hated it, we it. knew it was we knew it was a means to an end. Yeah. Because eventually because it was going yeah. it wasn't like um we were, I th I, well, from my end, we, we were very aware that mm. it was going somewhere, and eventually we'd move in together, and yeah. and then that and then that wouldn't be a thing. Yeah. And Joel kept like, I think, to say to himself, one day we'll look back on this with fond yeah. memories. <laughs> Seemingly, Joel does not look no. back with fond memories. No, I do because I, I do, I loved living with Lucy, my housemate in London, and like I miss that, and I miss like living with her sometimes. <laughs> No offense to you. No, but and it and my memories of living with her actually, even though I lived with her for way longer than you were on the scene, my memories are like her having a partner, me having a partner, us going away, coming back together, yeah, living like together. just having a beer. Yeah, it was like it was just really nice. So I do think fondly of it, but I always said I would never do long distance, and then I did. So. Yeah, you always said you'd never date a northerner as well. And there yeah, we are. and then I did it. And a so British person. What's it like living in the north? You moved like up the country. What's yeah. that been like? It's been good. It's been... <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. No, I do love it and I'm glad I've done it and it's not been any... People in London love to go, oh, I could never. I could never. And it's like, you can. Like, you, it takes getting used to, but it's... See, I I like to visit the, a city, the city, yeah. a city. Yeah. But, no, nah, it's too too busy, too fast. Yeah. Noise, ch -ch -ch -ch. <laughs> constant. <laughs> like, I, I like yeah. being somewhere a bit more rural, Definitely. but... Um, yeah, it takes like I'm self-employed. I'm in my thirties. Yeah, it's you, hard to make friends. Yeah. So because I don't have work friends or anything. Mm. But then I'm like, do I actually care? Because I quite enjoy spending see, time I've, alone. And you didn't see in you, you, you know, we have friends together, don't we? We have friends yeah. that we come down to London to see together. Yeah. And so, yeah, um, I don't feel in need of friends. <laughs> do you know? No, because no, I've already got new friends. friends. Yeah, new, new friends. friends. Yeah. Because I already then yeah when we come to London we see friends and um, yeah I don't. I don't really feel. Yeah, and you fitted in seamlessly with the kids as well. The kids love yeah. you, don't they? I think yeah, you, that's true. Fletcher can't stop what say two words. Fletcher, I get why Joel gets uh, frustrated with me grunting because Fletcher is like uh, me Fletcher grunts at me. Keegan but, tells him off for grunting, and then I'm like, you do realize you grunt all the time, like. It's like seeing a mini me and he has a go at Fletcher for the things that I have a go at Keegan about. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a chain. <laughs> um, um, talking of that, how was it? Like, because lots of people say to us, oh, I'm dating someone and I've got kids. And like, when do you introduce your partner to your kids? Because you obviously don't want to introduce anyone to your kids who aren't going to be there for the long run. Well, I suppose that, quite damaging. That, that's the answer, isn't it? When you pretty, you can never be certain because mm. there's other people involved. Yeah. But, you know, when you, pretty sure and you both agree and you're both mm. comfortable with it um then you can introduce so yeah. what was it we'd been seeing each other about six months about six months i think yeah, yeah. and then you met the kids but you wouldn't yeah. see them you'd but see we went on a day out didn't we it yeah. wasn't them coming to the house and staying over it was like let's yeah, go we and did do something stuff, yeah um, i think that was crystal maze we did that in manchester we did crystal didn't maze we? in manchester and we won we won. We won. We did well. Didn't we, we beat the kids. Yeah. No, we were oh. all on the same team. <laughs> oh yeah, we were. I thought you were saying, and we won. <laughs> no, no, we as the team was far. We yeah. we beat the other teams. Yeah, that were we on did. It. No, um, it was fun. Yeah, so it's been it's been easy with the kids. Yeah, and also if someone's nice, the, the kids will get on with someone, won't they? Yeah. So it's and yeah, because it's not the case. I mean, I'm not gonna. I'm not airing dirty laundry, but it's not the case that kids just like everyone. Because I think some people, trolls or mean people have been like, yeah, well, kids like anyone. Because from what you've told me, no, kids did not get along with another partner. Ab so. Absolutely not. Kids kids, kids are not daft. Like That's why they say don't work with kids and animals. Yeah. Because they don't pull any punches mm. and you know they can see through stuff. Yeah. So, and you know, they've obviously got on with you because you're a great person and realize that we have a great relationship so yeah. it's just it's all been seamless and yeah. easy hasn't it yeah i feel very lucky it's been easy because it could be oh i can imagine yeah it could be it could be fraught really, with danger really really difficult there's no plans in the future for more kids so, no uh, but what are plans for for the future Joel? maybe a few more dogs no <laughs> Um, plans for the future. We'd like to buy a property together. Yeah, we had a look at a house, didn't we? But mm -hmm. it's not. I don't think it's going to happen. It's not going to happen. 
not this house, I mean, but um, but we're not in a rush. We probably will stay where we are for a while longer, but we would like to purchase somewhere together that we both co-own together yeah, and chose we, together. Because we've both got our own houses, haven't we? Yeah. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's just yeah. building a life, living living yeah. a life together, isn't it? Just enjoying. Taking enjoying it as life. it comes, building happy, healthy home and, yeah. and everything. So yeah. we've got joint ventures and... Yeah, it's it's easy really. Yeah. It sounds a bit it's a bit boring. Yeah, it is a bit when boring. When we sit here like go, oh, you know, it feels a bit self indulgent, but it's also like, oh, it's just our relationship. Like it's yeah. not spectacular, we're not jet yeah. setting, we're not you know, we just live a general boring yeah. life. Yeah, I'm looking forward to just like saving money, working on health and fitness, like spending quality time together as a couple, spending quality time together as a family, like yeah. doing like just all the boring stuff. But actually, they're the things that make you happy in the long run, don't they? Boring is beautiful. Boring is beautiful. <laughs> Get that on a t-shirt. Yeah. Yeah, so if we should wrap it up there. Should we do a no FOMO homo? Yeah. Do you have a no FOMO homo for uh, this week? I have been reading a series of books called The Faithful and the Fallen by John Gwynn. You have sped through those. Yeah, I really like them. A while if you're ago. a bit of a fantasy geek, you like them. They're a good they're a good book. Yeah. Um if you don't like fantasy, I'd probably leave those alone. Um but yeah, I'm a big fantasy nerd, so yeah. there you go. That's, that's from that's good. from me. And what should people do if they're watching on YouTube, Keegan? They should subscribe. Exactly. They should like it. Do mm -hmm. you like it on YouTube? Yeah. Yeah, you do. <laughs> and if you want to, you can be a member. You can yeah. be a VIH, very yeah. important homo. Yeah, we do monthly live streams just for our members. So if you're interested, click join next to subscribe, and that will show you the options there. And where can people find us on socials, Joel? At Happy Healthy Homo. Uh, and if people want to email us? Hello at Happy Healthy Homo. There is a theme here. Hello at Happy Healthy Homo if you want to email us about anything. If you want to be featured on our Helpful Homo series where we answer your questions, your dilemmas, then put help in the subject title and give us as much info as possible. Not too much, though. Uh, <laughs> and we will try to answer those in our sister series to this podcast. Helpful Homos, yeah. Mm -hmm. So thank you for watching. Thank you for being a happy, healthy homo. Yeah. Um, thank you, Joel, for going out with me. Oh, and thank you, Keegan. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, thank you. And we'll see you next week. See you next week. Bye. Bye.